Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Travis Cornelius of My Bring Back, and welcome to probably the most fantastic web series on the internet to learn how to develop websites, become a software engineer, um, or software web application developer, so, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, this course is going to get you up to date on how to do that. We're going to learn HTML, CSS, um, HTML5, CSS3 if you're one of those guys, um, and then PHP, we might create an API in Ruby, um, and then we'll also have, you know, Ajax, jQuery, uh, jo JavaScript, and um, those are all JavaScript, but we're going to learn a ton of stuff in this series, and it's going to be insane in the membrane. Um, but the first thing that we need to do is download some software to help us in our development process. There's something called an IDE that uh, will help you say, hey, you probably misspelled this, and they'll underline it in red and be like, yeah, yeah, you probably misspelled this. This isn't going to work. It's going to crash your program. You can also write code in um, like Vim or like a, a text editor or notepad or something. Um, but an IDE helps you along the way. It, I think it helps when you're learning. Uh, some people argue that. Anyways, we're going to download it for this course. So first thing you want to do is do a Google search for Spice Girls Karaoke, uh, sing, sing the song Wannabe, and that will put you in the mood to code or learn how to code. Um, but anyways, we're going to go to something called NetBeans. There's a lot of IDs, IDEs out there. I don't know which one's the best. Um, I use... I use the paid IDE that costs like a hundred bucks. NetBeans is free and it's it's actually pretty good. So we're gonna use that for this course. I want everything to be free in this course and that's what we're gonna do. So go to NetBeans, go to the download page and here we're probably gonna get this one with everything uh, built in, right? Uh, 210 megs, it might take a little bit. Uh, the next thing that we wanna do is download something called WAMP. WAMP's gonna be like a fake server on our computer. We're gonna run our website off of this. So you don't actually need to have hosting. You don't need to upload your code to the internet and deal with it that way. We're gonna have everything with WAMP and I'll explain this more when we actually start using it. Um, I apologize, I know a lot of this is monkey see, monkey do for these first few tutorials. But once we get into the code, it's going to be incredible. You're going to learn a whole lot. And I'm not going to use all this jargon that you have no idea what it means. Um, I remember starting coding and I remember how confusing it was and reading books. And it's just like, you know, take the flow value and then pass that in as a parameter to, uh, you know, parse that into JSON data. And it's just like, I don't know any. What, what are you talking about? So I, I, I'm familiar with where a lot of you guys are at right now. I'm going to use common common knowledge, um, common uh, man, I can't speak common language, and then also throw in the jargon, and we'll slowly develop the actual uh, computer terminology jargon that you'll hear in your business job. Um, but don't be overwhelmed. There is a lot to learn, uh, but I trust that you will learn a whole lot through this course. Uh, one of the things that NetBeans will need is a JDK. Uh, with the version that we we installed because we got uh, uh, Java um, loaded up in that IDE as well. So we're going to go to Google and hit uh, JDK download. And that's going to be from Oracle. And they have this bundle here that you could download the JDK and NetBeans 8.0. I wasn't sure if that included all the PHP stuff as well that we're going to need. So that's why I did not decide to go this route. Uh, we're just going to hit the Java platform JDK here, download that guy, and pick your platform, Windows, or whatever you're using. Um, Got to agree to something. I mean, I've read this about, you know, a thousand times. I love it. It's my favorite agreement to read, so, yeah, of course I'm going to agree to that. That's cool. Uh, you probably want to read it too, you know, whatever. It's up to you. Um, it is software, so... Who knows what's in there? So again, this is a boring tutorial, but we will learn everything. We're gonna start with HTML and CSS or HTML5, CSS3, and work our way up into learning how to just take that basic code and the way our website looks and make it functional. We're gonna use uh, you know JavaScript and jQuery and Ajax, 
uh, to make requests to our MySQL database and have that have a response um, or like, I'm sorry, make a request to our API, have that talk with our MySQL database, have that talk back, make a response in JSON, and then we're gonna parse that stuff. It's a, it's a, a lot of terminology that you're gonna learn, and it's a lot of cool stuff. Um, you just have to trust me. That's all I can say. The only way that you aren't gonna learn this is if you give up. And I mean, this is gonna be the best, you know, cheapest thing there is out there. That's my goal. Uh, after we have this stuff installed, I think we'll probably have to install the JDK first or WAMP. So let's go ahead and install WAMP. And I just bought a Windows computer, so I'm still getting used to, shoot. I'm still getting used to how this all works. I'm, I'm more of a Mac guy, but 84% of my subscribers are Windows, so I figured a lot of people saw that they were in Mac uh, format of the t video tutorials, and they're just like, well, they have a Mac, I'm probably not gonna watch this. So I decided to buy a Windows computer, that's, that's what we're running here. So if I'm a little slow with this Windows stuff, uh, forgive me, give me some tips if you can, whatever. Um, but we're, we're gonna get going here. Uh, next thing we also probably wanna install the JDK before NetBeans, I think NetBeans will throw an error if we don't have the JDK installed. I don't, I don't know what that pop-up was, I just hit cancel, who knows. Um, I'm just gonna leave this stuff, we'll figure it out later if we need to change it. Um, obviously I'm, I'm doing the exact same things that you guys are doing don't have anything installed on this computer yet. Um, so I'm just hitting next a bunch of times and hopefully uh, that's that's what we need to do. But yeah, a little bit about me. I've, I've been doing a lot of Android tutorials in the past. Um, I got a lot of subscribers and followers through that, uh, but eventually got a job as a web developer and I, I'm dealing with all these things. I learned a lot of cool tricks from uh, other people I work with and I knew there's there's a lot of tutorials out there that aren't so great. So I decided um, that I would create my own tutorials and hopefully explain them in a way that will get you to the same point where I'm at. Um, the same point that you can get uh, a job. I mean, I, I don't have a degree, but I, I have a nice paying job in a cool company uh, because I, I decided to take the initiative and learn this stuff um, on my own. So I know you can do it and I, I just want to provide another resource for all of you guys to learn from. Okay, uh, I kind of cut the video out there because it was taking a while, but uh, we're just getting next steps, I guess. Maybe. I guess I didn't really even read what that was. Um, okay, so our JDK is installed. Now we're going to install NetBeans. So I'm probably going to clip some of this out, but yeah, just hit yes to everything. Again, this is boring tutorial. It's just like, oh, what's he doing? I'm just going to do the same thing. All this is is getting us set up to actually become bosses and learn a ton of sweet stuff um, in a simpler way instead of uh, you know writing it out on a piece of paper and then typing that into a typewriter or something and then having that run. I don't know what, what I'm saying exactly. But anyways, uh, just go ahead and hit next bunch of times. This, this is crazy. But that was another, one of, the, one of the biggest questions I get from people is, uh, you know, what, what language should I learn first? Um, and that, that really depends on what you want to do. In the web, de in the web development uh, era, there's a lot of different languages that every web developer uses. All the languages we're going to learn here are most likely the languages you're going to be using besides like .NET stuff, which is slowly dying out. Um, it's a lot going to be the stuff that you use in a real job. Um, and you do kind of have to learn them all. I mean, each one is different and it does a different thing. Um, there's, you know, Java and uh, Objective-C for mobile application development. Uh, web development, you're going to be using um, like uh, HTML, CSS, jQuery, Ajax, um, stuff like that for the front end development. Back end could be like Ruby, uh, it could be PHP, it could be a lot of other different languages. Those are probably the main ones right now in the industry. Um, and then there's also databases that you deal with, MySQL or um, NoSQL and stuff like that. Oh, we're gonna be using MySQL for uh, this tutorial. It's kind of common. It's slowly dying out, uh, especially with like 
Node.js and Angular and stuff like that, um, those newer technologies coming out, um, they deal with uh, non-relational databases. Again, this, these are probably big terms for you, but I'm just kind of uh, saying that it is important to learn all of these languages or at least be familiar with some of them. So everything that I'm going to teach is going to be beneficial for you in the long run. I'm not just teaching stuff to teach it. Uh, there's a, a, a reason why I picked the languages that we're going to learn throughout the series. Also another thing you guys can do while this stuff is installing, uh, you might want to set up a GitHub account. I'm going to be keeping all of these tutorials on GitHub um, and you can check out uh, you can check out each tutorial individually and compare your code that way or just run it and see see what we're going to learn in the future. Um, so I would sign up for GitHub. I'll probably explain how to use it in a future tutorial, um, probably like the 10th or so tutorial. Um, and if you stick with me until then, you can check out a lot of other tutorials and uh, it'll be awesome. I think you'll be able to follow me by uh, doing at Travis Cornelius which is my name and then you can follow me here right now I don't have a whole lot of followers I mainly just do private repositories and stuff for work um, again all private stuff um, so I'm not really too engaged in the community uh, but I have a feeling I'll get a lot more followers here after this series takes off okay finally that got done installing and we have NetBeans so you have a nice little start page here uh, that's fine whatever we're gonna create a new project it's gonna be a PHP application project uh, we're actually gonna save this in the root of where our WAMP is installed so that will be my computer C uh, drive or whatever your main drive is in WAMP and then within the www folder so we're gonna open that guy and we're gonna save this as HTML uh, tutorials hit next or probably just finish and there we go so we're gonna open up stuff so a new PHP file we're gonna call this index.php um, or HTML actually since we're doing HTML is now um, so we're just gonna have it the basic uh, index file and it, ha it had a p uh, had a PHP bracket up there don't worry about that uh, for now we're just gonna type something it could be anything so just type your name hit save uh, go into or make sure your WAMP is running open that guy hit yeah whatever it's from the internet it's probably my computer virus virus or something um, whatever that said I, I don't know uh, just go up into a browser type localhost and then type that index.html file and you should see the output of what we typed into our IDE um, again all we did is we saved this in the location of this C um, the C drive WAMP and then www that's all you have to do and then make sure WAMP is running so we got some stuff set up we got through the boring mundane stuff and it's time to learn incredible powerful beautiful intensely awesome web technology that is available at our fingertips and we can do anything with it we can create a Facebook and make billions of dollars or if as long as you have the idea and you have some knowledge that you're gonna learn here you can do it definitely can please subscribe Please tell your friends. Um, it's way better to learn with other friends. They can help you out when you struggle um, because I get a lot of emails and I'm not able to help out everyone. Um, so please subscribe. Please like this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. I hope this is all working so far. I know it's really boring, but it will get better. Trust me. I'm not going to be one of those boring professors. Uh, it's going to be a good time. So thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Have a great day.